breaking news. Controversial case drawing national attention now causing major protest after a not guilty verdict. It's the case of Border Patrol agent Lonnie Schwartz. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Pat Paris and I'm Stella Inger. Schwartz is charged with voluntary and involuntary manslaughter for shooting through the border fence and killing 16 year old Jose Antonio Elena Rodriguez. The verdict has triggered an angry response. Nine year size Craig Smith is live with protesters who have gathered near Tucson's federal courthouse and now even a road closure there. Craig. Right, we're at the intersection of Congress and Granada, and this area is closed. I'm going to go ahead and step back and give you a better idea, a better view of the protesters who are clustered in this intersection. Tucson police have actually blocked uh, roads about a block or so in all directions to maintain safety here and make sure that cars don't, uh, don't plow into this crowd, either by accident or deliberately. Uh, these people have been outraged by the outcome of the Lonnie Swartz trial uh, after initially uh, failing to get a, a second degree murder conviction uh, several months ago. They tried again on voluntary and involuntary manslaughter and uh, in this case they uh, did not guilty on involuntary manslaughter. Let's go ahead and give you more detail on that piece now. The jury found Agent Lonnie Swartz not guilty of involuntary manslaughter. They did not rule on the stiffer charge of voluntary manslaughter. This was Swartz's second trial. In April, a jury found him not guilty of second-degree murder, but could not agree on a voluntary manslaughter charge. That hung jury allowed prosecutors to put Swartz on trial again. Swartz said when he fired 16 times through the border fence and killed 16-year-old Jose Antonio Elena Rodriguez, he was protecting himself and other officers from rocks thrown over the border fence by people on the Mexican side. They were trying to interfere with agents trying to arrest smugglers who were trying to climb over the fence and into Mexico. Prosecutors say the threat against Swartz and other officers was not severe enough to justify deadly force and that they could have easily removed any threat by taking cover. But defense attorneys argued rocks are enough of a danger to justify deadly force. Richard Boren of the Border Patrol Victims Network says prosecutors botched the case. They're just literally uh, giving the green light to the Border Patrol to go ahead and keep on uh, uh, using lethal force uh, in any situation they like and they and then get away with it. The Border Patrol Union paid for Swartz's defense. Spokesperson Art Del Cueto sees the not guilty verdict as justice. We've always held our agents accountable when they do something wrong. And in a case like this, we've always backed up our agents when we believe that they did the right thing. Now, again, you're looking at a live scene at the intersection of Congress and Granada. Uh, the protesters have been uh, blocking the streets here since roughly 515 or so. Police have blocked adjoining streets to, for the safety of this crowd. It's not clear just how long uh, the protest will last. Uh, past protests in the Swartz case, they did also take over the streets. And in those cases, they stayed a couple of hours uh, into the streets, probably until I think about 8 o'clock or so. But for now, reporting live from downtown Tucson, Craig Smith, KGON 9 on your side.